Hello everybody, so today what I want to look at is the sweep node and basically the sweep node allows me to create a curved spline and then I can create a cross section piece of geometry, just a flat piece of geometry which I can then use to create a surface across that curve. So let's take a look how I would do this. Let's create a geometry node and start building inside of here. I will start off, I think, with an add node. Let me get my brain moving. Come on, Ian. You can do it. Right. So, um, yeah, now let's go to points plus plus. And this second point, I'm going to make this minus 10 in X. OK, so I've got my two points with you can see in previous videos how to use this add node if you're unsure. OK, we'll go to the next add node and this time I'm going to add my line. So I'll go into polygons and by group. I've got a line, very basic curve there. Um, so next part, I think what I will do is I will create maybe a circle. OK, let's make a circle. And OK, there's my circle. And as you can see, it's just a flat plane, but it's it's a circle. And this is what I need. I need something which is a cross section that I can create a, along this line. So I think what I'll also do is create a transform and make this a, a bit smaller overall. There, and a bit smaller. All right. Now let's check the sweep node. So the sweep node, as you can see, has two inputs. The first one says under here, it's the backbone curve. And the second one is the cross section. I actually pointed to the screen there as if that was going to help you in some way. OK, again, you can see the brain is in the toilet today. So let's first of all look at the backbone curve. And what this means is it's just looking for the curve, the, the spline curve. OK, so let's add that there. And the second one is looking for the cross section, which we know this was the curve this one is the is the cross section so let's add that in there and open that up and there we go you see it's taken this curve i'm going to remove these numbers and these points and these two okay so it's taken this this cross section here and it's simply added it down this curve now in the Blind in the sweep node itself, what I can do is I can close these ends if I want. Uh, but before that, what I've noticed too is that I've got these dark color on the surface. And what that means is that it's actually inverted. The normals of this geometry are pointing the wrong way. They're pointing inside instead of outside. And that's not good when it comes to shading. So Let's create another node. Let's create the reverse node and this will reverse the positioning of those normals. So when I turn this on, there we go. I can see now I've got the right kind of shading, which is nice. Uh, let's take a quick look at this, the ends of this. So the caps. So I've got the end cap type. I can change this to a single polygon, which is nice. And I also have the option of a grid. And as you can see, this grid creates like a kind of a cool curve on the end. Now, you may want that, you may not. I don't know. That's up to you. Um, but what I can do is I can reduce the end cap scale if I want to go and make it flat again. And you can see I've got a bit more geometry, a bit more resolution here I can play with. And I can increase my cap divisions or decrease them depending on what it is that I want. And of course, I can go with a single polygon if that's preferable. It depends on what obviously your needs are. So that's a good that we know there's a lot more information here that we haven't gone through yet. But that will give you a quick, you know, two, three minute basic look at how to make it work. I hope this is useful. Any comments, questions or criticisms, please leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. You guys have a great day. All right. Bye bye.